This exquisite proof half dollar specimen made someone thousands of dollars recently at Great Collections Auction 1967 Kennedy half dollar from Special Mint State variety. Great as MS68 Plus Ultra Cameo by NGC. It is a highly rare and sought after coin among collectors. What sets this coin apart from other Kennedy of dollars of its time it is its deep cameo finish which was achieved through a special striking process that resulted in the coin's designs having a frosted appearance while the background fields remained mirrored, an enchanting specimen with an uncommon degree of field to devise contrast for a special mean state Kennedy of dollar of the 1965 to 1967 era. Untoned silver white surfaces are fully struck almost pristine. The coins of this grade are extremely rare, sold on May 7, 2023 for $14,062.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. An error penny 1965 Lincoln Sands struck on a clad dime planchet, graded in mint state 65 by PCGS, a splendid of metal mint error. Light wheat gold and ice blue toning visits coruscating and unblemished surfaces, struck plush with color dye near 5 o'clock with a rim present below the bust truncation and above the states off. The top half of In God We Trust is off the flan, the bottom of the sand is faint as is the L in Liberty. 1964 sands were struck into 1965 and the issue is known struck on both clad and silver dime planchets. It was sold for $5,280 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with its vividly toned 1958 Franklin of Dollar, graded in MS67 Plus condition with full bell lines. Boldly lustrous surfaces gleam with a strong, brilliant vibrance. Every detail is sharply struck up from a precision blow from the dies. Again, like the other examples, this coin's eye appeal is mostly impaired by a dramatic palette of color. Sunset orange dominates and is joined by emerald green, violet and magenta tones on a burst while the reverse has some pale blue within the olive gold shades. The liberty bell on the reverse of the coin has horizontal lines that represent the bell structure. When these lines are fully struck and visible from the top to bottom, it is said to have full bell lines. It was sold for $10,575 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. This a bicentennial quarter struck over a struck cent, an important off-metal error. Quarter dollar is a partial and blurry. Liberty is essentially absent. The San Francisco mint mark appears as a narrow triangle. The quarter date is bold. The width is greater than the height, which makes the coin somewhat oval. The scent undertype is visible as columns of the Lincoln Memorial on Washington's shoulder and forehead, and one cent is faintly present on the left of worst border of the quarter. It was sold for $6,600 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1951's Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 68 with full bands, a beautiful Roosevelt Dime that is tied for the finest grade at PCGS. A booming luster accentuates the uh, sunset orange and deep green toning at the right of verse and reverse rims, as expected for the full bands designation. All details on both sides are fully rendered from an exacting stripe from the dies. It was sold for $2585 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, like, share, comment and subscribe.